saved by a second Dennis. <laughs> I saw that on TV. You're putting it near the knot where it's soft. You're younger than you sound. I'm uglier than you sound. Hundred bucks. It's good weed. One fifty. Sorry to interrupt you. One of my students, my best in years, has been expelled from school, and the other schools have expelled her too. And she's had to go before a judge. A judge? First offense, she's been put on probation. No drugs, alcohol, you know, curfew, that sort of thing. One of the orders of probation is that she continue her education by private tutoring. Beatrice, there's only so much time in the week. Her only alternative is juvenile jail. Margaret, she doesn't belong in jail. What was she arrested for? Selling pot, just a little bit. And her marks? She's got an A-plus in art. And the rest range between D and F. She's not a bad girl. Never violent, I assure you. What's her name? Deirdre Cowan. You should see her file, Mother, a real juvenile delinquent. I'm doing it as a favor to another teacher. We could use the money. Oh, no, no, of course she'll keep your townhouse. I know, Mother, all your friends. I only meant a little extra would help. Besides, you know how I love tutoring. A little one-on-one -on -one and they turn themselves right around. I plan to cite this one out break down those teacher-student barriers. Every student can be reached, Mother, no matter how dissolute. Well, I'm off to buy milk for the tea before she gets here. That's all.
Mrs. Cowan. Mrs. Stamond. St. Amand. Ms. St. Amand. Come in. This is Deidre, like I was telling you on the phone. Miss St. Pecan. Amand. Deidre, say hello. I'm convinced it's the school system. I remember when Quite. I was... Very happy to meet you, Deirdre. And what an interesting name. Unusual. I'm sure we'll do well together and up those marks. For you. Nice color of orange. Freezing in here. My friends are gonna call mom. I'm fed up. I wanna go home. Fine, I'll go myself. Stay right where you are. Better still, take that plant, my plant, and no business of yours, young lady, back to where you found it. Here, I'll get you a trowel. Fuck off, bitch. You'll stay right here till you're told to do otherwise. I'm your teacher now. You'll do as I say or you won't do it all. Has she your textbooks with her? I want nothing to stand between us. What the hell are you doing? They're her books. School books, Mom. You had no use for them before, so we'll dispense with them now. Mrs. Cowan, why don't you go home? Come back in an hour. And Deirdre, I'll turn up the heat, and God willing, we'll begin your education. Lost your tongue, have you? I've no intention of seeing you leave until you've written me a piece. And English is, after all, one of your best, well, better subjects. Write it on anything. I'm glad you're fat with indifference, Deirdre. I'm not fat. You haven't written a thing. I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. Then let's call it quits. Your grammar is shocking. Are you saying my mom don't speak good? Do you know what this is? That's your problem. What? You're a drinker. I'm a teetotaler. A God-fearing Christian. What in heaven's name are you talking about? Amethyst. It comes from a Greek word, it means without drunkenness. The Greek guys thought it prevented intoxication. I only remember what I'm interested in. And I'm intoxicated by booze. And you are never to see Wendy and her lot again. And if you ever come home with so much as a whiff of alcohol, you're the drunk. I haven't had a drink in two years. It's late. We'll continue with geology on Thursday. Amethyst. Special kind of quartz that's formed very slowly deep in the earth. Comes from the Greek word amethystus, which means without intoxication. Over millions of years, pressure from the rocks and water compact the sediment into a new type of rock, sedimentary. 
that's shale. If it's under intense pressure for years and years, it turns to slate. Like you. What? A human kind of slate. All that pressure for all those years. What would you even know about me? <laughs> that you're round tighter than the clocks that run your life. That you're bitchy so no one will get close to you. It doesn't take Freud to figure out you're a woman with a past. Oh, you have a nerve. I bet you don't have many friends. No boyfriend. No kids. What are you saying? Not that you're a lesbian. Nah, that's way too interesting. I think you're asexual. Get out. I hear a lot of incest goes on in the houses of evangelicals. All that sexual repression. You filthy mouthed. My father was a good man. Don't come back. Disgrace to the family. The public humiliation. Her mother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And you're the thing that holds me to the ground without you. I would float off, never to be. You'd think that long a crap would have done you some good. So I take it you gave up on me already. But I did it, like what you asked for on Tuesday. I, I left your poem. God, you, you need a good drag here. No, don't you dare like that filthy thing. There's a teacher. Bit whacked out, aren't you? Can queen. God. God will damn us for eternity. I've decided not to tutor Deirdre Cowan. She's headed for worse than a detention center. I'll call Kingsland on Monday. Nobody, fucking nobody talks to St. Amon that way. Can we? <laughs> Don't let them send you away, D. Totally sucks, man. Don't blow it with St. Amon. I don't blow it for just anybody. <laughs> hey, where did your curfew go? I climbed out my bedroom window. <laughs> Diseased. 
torment shows warty on my skin. The scream slips down my legs. Middle night time. My dampness is only close to the truth that all I'm happy with is silent. Hate sinks. Skull like an avocado nut. Creamy till you'd bore. Bore. Discolored. Cut. Scrape. Haunting. Horrible. Lyrical beyond her years. She's better read than most teachers. But this seems so physical. Mm. And filled with dark sexual energy. Sexual? I was thinking physical in the sense of violence. Yes, but I should show you something. Can you believe he threatened to smash it? It's disgusting. It's beautiful. What's strange is that it's so beautiful. Maybe she's not all black and morty inside. You need another cup of mint tea. I put her in touch with a counselor, but her anorexia, and she's making good progress. What she needs is a bit of sympathy. Christian charity? I hear she's going to Kingsland. Thanks for the tea. Call me some Saturday morning. I'm always home then. Margaret, it's really something you know that Deirdre wrote you that poem. Whatever it is, Deirdre, it's not a geranium. We better start with botany. Three different directions. Your hypothesis? I hypothesize that as the beans grow, I'll die of boredom. And I hypothesize that you're afraid to try and be smart. Time for math, the framework of science. So, algebra. And it all relates to real life. Let's say you go shopping for um, some leotards. You have $45. Whatever you do on the left side of the equation, you must do on the right. It's the cost of a kilogram of potatoes. 99 cents, plain and simple. You're saying like I'm plain and simple. You think you're better than me. I have trouble with your profanity. And your lifestyle. You know fuck all about my life. <laughs> See? Words are our best means of communication. I have more personal ways to communicate. One day, Deirdre, it'll all catch up with you. Then we'll see where you land. Where'd you land? No, no, no. Once more. Whatever you do to the left, do to the right. I need a smoke.
doesn't flank me right now. What are you thinking about? Right now? What's more important than getting your high school diploma? The only thing between you and a life of minimum wage jobs. Truth dare, double dare, promise to repeat. Truth. Buying my next hit. Like of acid. Usually I settle for a little pot. That garbage saps your brain power. It dulls your memory. How do you dull your memory? You have no respect for me. You have no respect for me. Your mother and I have decided you're never to see Jeffrey again. How much do the godforsaken drugs cost? The acid? Uh, 15 a hit. And how much money do you have in your pockets? 72 bucks. What else do you want to buy? Uh, veggie sub, three dollars. How many hits can you buy along with a sandwich? Um, four with change. You did it. And fast. I didn't use algebra. Like heck. Heck you didn't. Hold on, Missy. Hello, Maggie. Did you bring my prescription? Hello, Mother. You're going through those awfully fast, Mother. You're only sleeping pills for glory's sake. Well, I said to her, if you ask me, there's no good reason why the girls can't join the boys in Pioneers. You're 15, after all, and who says church shouldn't be a little fun? Far cry from your attitude when I was that age. We tried our best. Your father was a good man. He had high expectations of himself, too. Lately, I've been remembering things. Things that don't make sense. Then what's the sense in trying to remember? Would you go fetch the new needlepoint? My gout's acting up. So how are the lessons? Hope you're biting that tongue of yours. It's red and raw, Mom, just like your steak. Have you eaten a jeezly thing today? I kept your lunch. I already ate. I don't believe you. So what else is new? I'm gaining, all right? Tutor's so uptight, the shit comes out of her mouth. <laughs> Amand. Miss Saint Amand. <laughs> Saint Demand. Saint Be Damned. <laughs> oh, damn it! My last one! Do you need glasses? Oh, go on, get. some real progress with my new student yesterday. The Cowan girl? You're wasting your time, Maggie. Some people are just no good. They come from a family that's no good. It's in their blood. Is that a Christian principle? Are they church people? What difference does that make? Some people just don't try to help themselves. They're born lazy. And some people ask for help and don't get it. You're looking pale, Maggie. Are you keeping up with your vitamin E? You know, I read an article in Consumer Reports about vitamin E and female problems. You're not listening to me, Margaret. 
It's good for female problems. Well, I don't have any. And my bowel movements are fine, thank you. I'm only trying to help. I signed you up for church luncheon next week. Dear Ms. St. Amon, I'd like to tell you that for more than six years, my mother's brother took me for walks and called me a nice girl. One hand up my dress. And when I told my mother all that had been happening, what does she come out with? That I'm blackening a good man's name. So that's before the divorce and my dad left. Stepped on a plane like he'd always meant to and headed for Calgary. Billy, her lover, climbs out of the closet then, another good man, and into the bed. They're married now. Billy would bash my brains in if I let on to mum what he's up to, give her an excuse to really hate me. I am, after all, a lying bitch. They can keep their fucking food. I'm gonna get smaller and smaller till I disappear, fall inside my own bones and rock like a crib. Of course, you know what I am. A cocksucker and a joint roller. Can even do both at the same time. I'll wrap up in wool stockings with my hair lapping both sides of my face, and I'll itch under the scales of acne. And if I surface, it'll be to puke. Long hours I'll lie in bed, peeling myself off the window. There's one, Chris, who couldn't screw me after I let slip everything that goes on. But the other asshole jerks, riding on my terrible sadness. My stepdaddy, he'd felt me up a few times before. I've had to empty his wallet when I could. I need my pills and stuff. But it got a bit obvious, I guess. The shit knew it too, but he waited for me. Mom had gone to the hairdressers. He closed the window, locked the door. I said, I need air. He smiles. I should take your photograph. Your hair's nice that way. slammed under the rocker, this pulping in my throat, a clump of hair, twisting a knife way round. You're choking, file grind the hard knock thump. Fucking bitch, thief, whore, yank them off. Could notch my puff skin, entire, naked. when I was 16. Speaking of 16, I keep hearing more and more about that Cowan girl. And people are starting to talk. About? About you and her. She's a little tramp. She has a very bad reputation. Very bad. With boys and... 
Oh, you and she spend all that time together. You talk about her so much to the girls at Bible study. They can't believe you like spending all that time with her. I'm her tutor. Now listen to me, please. I remember grade 10 and then grade 12. That was a very trying year for Daddy. You know he almost quit the ministry. Why? There, there are some things. That was a very long time ago, Margaret. We got over it, and then... He died. Why dredge up the past? It's my life. My memory. It was my life, too. Do you remember Jeffrey? this one, Ed, to get me through this. No! include plants seek the sun, like people. Perhaps they shun. The pull of gravity? Yes. The pull towards hell. Who asked a new Zabiton? Where do we live? New Zabiton? We live? I won't tell if you won't. Open your book, find vivre and conjugate to live. I live to conjugate. You don't speak French because you're content to be mediocre. A small town girl. And you can't see the page because you don't give a darn that your hair, all in your face, looks like something the cat spit up. I look exactly the way I want to look. And I see everything I want to see. I think you're uglier than ass warts, brace face. Free information, I have bad sit. I believe one writes because one has to create a world in which one can live. We write to lure and enchant and console others. We write to serenade our lovers. We write to transcend our life, to reach beyond it. We write to expand our world when we feel strangled or constricted or lonely. When I don't write, I feel my world shrinking. For too many centuries, women have been busy being muses to artists. I'll see you tomorrow at four. Who is it? It's in French. It's immoral, and I didn't finish it, but I'm sure it won't have anything you haven't heard of. The set was a gift. Both languages, and I'm keeping the English version. Coup de foudre. Love at first sight.
For your information, I wear braces for TMJ. It's a jaw dysfunction. I get headaches. They're orange cinnamon. I know you like oranges. I don't eat in front of people, okay? It's, it's just a thing with me. Where'd you get that? It's from a larger piece, a big tree root by the river down at Harding Park. I think I know the place. Time to hit the books. I think about food all the time. Today, physics. But we're behind a lesson in French. I suppose it wouldn't matter. The imparfait of the verb être. Tu as un bel accent. Maintenant, la physique. Whose physique? Let's start with mine. What, do you really think I'm going to come on to you? No. My mother's heard things about you. That you've had girlfriends. Is that all she's heard? Remember what you said about my lifestyle? I like living alone, Deirdre. I support myself, which is more than most women. But it's hard sometimes. Looking people in the eye when they hear that you've never been married, never had children. But to be accused of... It's not a crime to be queer. I say a lot of things, Miss Anamon. I'm full of bullshit, okay? And whatever the rumors are about me, being a lesbian isn't at the top of the list. Physics, miss. The most boring class I ever... Cut. Right. How big is the universe? Like my boredom, infinite. Sure hope there's an end. Why did it drop? Gravity. But how does it work? No one knows. Think about it. If I hold up this book, the earth pulls on it right through the table. We can't make something move without touching it. Do I have cooties? You don't eat in front of people. I don't touch them. It's just a thing with me. My problem is getting people to stop touching me. Your mother could help. We'll start with the laws of motion. First, conservation of momentum. I'll conserve my brain power. Teach me English, teach me French, even math, but I hate physics and I don't need it. Do you play billiards? I've been seen in the odd pool hall. Where and when? I'll show you how a physics teacher plays. If you win, then physics is off your curriculum. But if I beat Saturday, you... high noon, the Copperhead, North End. You have a way with cannabis. Does this establishment fit within your probation? I won't tell your mummy if you don't tell mine. You chickening out? Nice try. She's here to teach me a lesson.
Nice try. Nice try. My father used to say this was his only vice. Not like his daughter. You better pay Al a damage deposit, Professor. Or get stronger glasses. I don't need stronger glasses to see the two biggest asses around town. Usually she talks like a goddamn textbook. <laughs> and you talk like a streetwalker. A whore? I am one. Just kidding. I don't usually charge. Can I buy you a first prize cup of tea? Thank you. No. No, I, I couldn't. I played at church a lot. It's all in the angles. I know you like to shock me, but... Do you really have relations with boys? Never. Men only. And do you enjoy it? You think you're so perfect, are you? Listen, I know I have to come to you, but can't you just leave me alone? See you Monday! Off. No, I'm not part of the deal. I can wait. Eat shit. Can you not memorize a stanza of a poem? Poem? I thought it was an exercise to cure insomnia. Drowning is not so pitiful as the attempt to rise. Three times, tis said, a sinking man comes up to face the skies, and then declines forever to that abhorred abode, where hope and he part company, for he is grasped of God. The Maker's cordial visage, however good to see, is shunned, we must admit it, lake and adversity. Emily Dickinson. They say drowning is an easy way to go. Do you know more poems? Promise to repeat? 
Here's a Leonard Cohen, but it might be too intimate for you. You have the lovers. They are nameless. Their history is only for each other. You have the lovers. They are nameless. Their history is only for each other. And you have the room, the bed, and the windows. Pretend that it is a ritual. And you have the room, the bed, and the windows. Pretend that it is a ritual. The room has become a dense garden full of colors, smells, sounds you have never known. The bed is smooth as a wafer of sunlight. In the midst of the garden, it stands alone. When he puts his mouth against her shoulder, she is uncertain whether her shoulder has given or received the kiss. Go on. All her flesh is like a mouth. He carries his fingers along her waist and feels his own waist caressed. She holds him closer. She kisses the hand beside her mouth. It is his hand or her hand. It hardly matters. There are so many more kisses. You create an embrace and fall into it. Is it mine? Margaret. Run along. I'm married to your mom. And as such, well, I'm bound to be truthful to her. Gonna tell her you raped me? That's a new way of looking at it. I was seduced, me with 12 beer in me. Nah. I don't plan on telling her what a sleazy whore her daughter is. How's the pool coming, Alley Cat? <laughs> Look. All you really care about in your miserable life is right here. So listen up. I tell your principal about your heaven and his king's land. Here you come. Oh, they treat you real nice. Pretty pink outfits, fat wardens, real friendly. And food. They got platefuls full of french fries and gravy and pork chops. You'll be a babe in no time. So the thing is...
So, how are things? Unacceptable. But I said there was good reason for the temperance movement. You downed the church. It's our church. Like, what do you think about all the Hindus and the Muslims and First Nations and Jews? Some are very devout, no doubt. Deirdre, when I pray, he answers me. And you pray for what? No friends, headaches, fond memories? I have a roof over my head, a job I love, and and a good, respectable name in the community. Hmm. If you got your mother, thank God for mothers. My mother has had a lifelong battle with alcoholism. Do you ever talk to your mother about what's going on in your life? Well, at least my family's not full of religious hypocrites. You're so brainwashed, you wouldn't know the truth if it stood right in front of you. Pastor McSweeney expects us. Maggie? Maggie? Don't say goodbye or anything. This is all your fault, you know. It's your tutor. Hello? Her tutor? What the hell has she done now? I don't like this tutor business. She spends more time than ever in her room. She's gonna help me around the house more. I got plans. All right. Tomorrow. I heard you. Ten o'clock. Science in the park. There's something not right about that woman. But she's your only hope, miss. Don't forget it. Mom, I don't like it when you're not here and he is. Don't start with this D. He's not gonna hurt you. Is he glasses? You have a good reason for your tardiness. Now, I thought about what you said, Deirdre, and uh, I wanted you to know that. You're not dressed for the weather. I know, none of my business. Let's take the long trail to the river. See what flora and fauna catch our eyes, shall we? Must you go so fast? There are things I want to show you. Listen, what do you hear? My blood cracking. Oh, hear him? Tom, peepity, peepity, peepity. Look, the singer himself. There's no point, no point at all if you won't slow down. Here, take my vest. I'll have to change your mind. 
so used to your saucy tongue, I hardly recognize you. This one's sedimentary. All that pressure for all those years. And this is mine. Spit out of a volcano. See you in a million years. I know about volcanoes. Afraid of Billy. Has he touched you? We've got to tell your mother. She doesn't have to listen. Do you still have that cinnamon roll? And you a choir boy. No, they won't let me go to dances. But are you going to the deacon's meeting? Ten till noon. I go sometimes and tidy up downstairs. I guess you do know a bit about volcanoes. There must be a sight. I'd appreciate it if you did. My lips are sealed, Miss St. Helens. I've got some things to do. Thank you. You're not the only tired.
leave me alone. You fucking bitch. I remember now, in the church with Jeffrey. But what happened after that? Don't blame yourself, dear. It wasn't your fault, really. You had to go to the hospital for some time. What for? It was the pediatric ward. They had to help you calm down. Now take off your coat. You're scaring me, Maggie. Happy Mother's Day. So if the sun blew up, we wouldn't see the effects for eight minutes. We'd brush our teeth, sit here at our desks, not knowing that in eight minutes, our source of heat and light would vanish. Deirdre's in the regional, in the psychiatric ward. They say she attacked her stepfather. He's in intensive care. Do you need some fresh air, dear? Hearts. Hearts? Look, three fives and a jack, and you picked Jeezley Hearts. Horseshoes up your arse, cat. Throw me up. Horseshoes tickle. How are you? I just heard from Miss Fleming yesterday, or I would have. Take a look, a librarian. Cripes almighty, she's visiting the kid. What happened under the boat? I hope I didn't do anything to upset you. Down you go, 20 in the hole. Mother. No choking fits, no headaches, no nausea. Some things can't be fixed by a pill. You must have heard about that Cowan girl. You'll be better off without her. You were too wrapped up in her. She's not normal, not right in the head. Judge not, Mother. There's something I have to do. Are they meditating? No TV, because she won't eat. See you tomorrow? Where's Deirdre? She's okay, hon. Needs food tubes. Hasn't eaten a thing since she checked into the bin. 
the bin. You're in a loony bin. Here's Anais Nin, the poet whose book you're translating. The psychologists are always confirming what the poets have said so long ago. You know, even poor malign Freud said once, everywhere I go, I find a poet has been there before me. I bought you something. Please. She won't talk to me anyway. How do you like your psychologist, Dee Dee? She sounds like a real nice lady. She says you gotta eat, Dee. It's not good for you to lose this much. It's even hard on your heart. I snuck you in some chocolate. How's Billy? You never mind how Billy is. Don't you teach anymore? What are they saying exactly? It's psychedelic depression. They tried her on Thor... Thorazine? Yeah. Now it's something else. Side effects. What happened? She attacked my husband. With a knife. Took a lot of thread to stitch him up. And they say he'll be fine. Jesus, the blood. It's the drugs. He knew she was selling them, so that's why she did it. It's not like her, though. She must have been stoned. And she's... She's got this eaten thing again. She's got every freaking thing in the book. What am I to do? My husband... It's the pool shark. I remember me. I'm Walter Godwin. You look different. How about instead of tea, we have some lunch? You don't even know me. That's the point of the lunch. Grab that fly. I ate it. What do you hate most about school? Teachers who sit on their fat asses. Sorry. What do you call them? Posteriors.
Jeffrey. My boyfriend. My best friend. Somehow my parents took away my memory of him. You're lucky. Why? I hate everyone I've ever slept with. Do you want to die? I don't care either way. I do. Where's a hearing aid when you need one? Seeking, I'd like to hear about it. What about your mortgage? Your savings? What are they saying in the staff room? I was thinking crazy. Well, if you're going to risk your job to be with her, well, the rumors just won't go away. I understand friendship. Besides, she's much too young for me. <laughs> I knew her stepfather was bothering her. Time for lunch. Third time lucky? Sorry to interrupt. Maybe have a cup of coffee someday. I'd like some pointers so I can beat my brother at pool. Aren't you full of secrets? <laughs> it's not my type. To Deirdre. To Deirdre. Now, if only Mrs. Cowan would wake up. I tried to tell her about her own brother three years ago. She can't let herself suspect Billy. You know, they almost gave me shock treatment when I first came in here. Mom wouldn't let them zap me into Frankenstein. Okay. She's fine. It's uh, epilepsy, petty mal seizures. I remember now. They left me there in the asylum. Why? She's lied all these years. What happened? I don't know. Then I'm back home and nothing's the same. Make her tell you. All spring you'd been acting out. Talking back, hanging around with boys. Not our girl at all. Then you and Jeffrey. You threw a plate at me, Maggie. You must have been on drugs. You ran away, we called the police. We were sick with worry. Your father told the police. He said 
she's had a mental breakdown. You've ruined all our lives. I needed a hug. Not a psychiatrist. You were violent. I was scared. Humiliated. I thought Dad would never love me again. Why don't I remember staying there? Why? You had shock treatment. We wouldn't have let them go on if you weren't getting better. The only side effect was your memory. When you came home in a few weeks, we had our daughter back. That's where you were wrong. All these years, you're the only one I've let touch me. You don't drink. I don't do anything. He blamed me for your drinking. It wasn't fair. How's my girl? Putting on weight? I want you to get better. Your shrink is real pleased with your attitude. She said so. And you know what else? Billy's not going to press charges. He was going to? D, after all. He raped me once and then he tried again. I can't let that pig touch you. I don't know what to do! Just get out of here. Good day, ma'am. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Is there something wrong, officer? Yes, ma'am. You were doing 80 and a 50. Oh, I have to see my friend. I did it. Did what? I had it out with my mother. Big deal. What you said. Go away. What's the matter? You don't have problems. Shall I take bologna to the ladies' luncheon or cucumber? You're a stuck-up, uptight, narrow-minded old woman who's too selfish to realize... to realize that... nothing matters more... Friends.
say drowning is an easy way to go. be beaten by a Sunday school teacher, hey, asshole. Well, you go fuck yourself, you shit ass. Hey, fuck you, man. You can't talk to me like that. I doing? You're supposed to be in the bin. What bin? The loony bin. I had to find you. I'll tell you I'm sorry. I thought you drowned yourself. Over what you said? The driftwood. I saw it in the river. You're following me? Are you working for my mother? I sent it out to sea. I'm free. I gotta get you back before the police find you. So I said, how can you let that pig touch you? She says, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I told her to leave. I'm going to phone the police tomorrow. So I'm an uptight old woman, am I? I said I didn't mean it. I understand. I did a lot of thinking this afternoon. You want to rethink that outfit? Oh, that guy came on to you. Well, a hypocritical. Fine, fine. I think I'm going to take next term off. Maybe go to Spain. Well, what about me? He'll miss me. 
Ass warts and all, posterior warts. Don't worry, you'll be emailing me your homework. <laughs> I think Dr. Dagle likes you. That cat one was asking quite a few questions about you, too. This cat? Not that one with a cigarette behind her ear. 